To be totally honest, guys, I really don't like making videos about pet simulator drama because it's always so childish and so petty and cringy. However, this time it's a bit different. I can't even remember the last time I talked about pet sim drama. Was it those overpriced plushies or something? I don't know. That was hilarious. Anyway, today's drama, oh my god, it beats it. It absolutely nukes on the previous drama because pretty much, guys, pet sim players are so angry with the game, they're boycotting it. And not only that, many players are so setting fire to their pet simulator plushies. This is just like so crazy and just insane. But yeah, we're going to get into it in today's video. I'm going to tell you guys what's going on. I'm going to tell you why they're setting fire to their plushies. And this situation is just absolutely nuts. So we start off today's lovely video with a tweet from Pet Simulator News. Shout out to them. Big Games has received major backlash after supposedly rewarding exploiters with one-on-one -on -one rainbow shiny Titanic pets. Now for those of you that don't play Pet Simulator, you're probably like me and you're thinking, what the heck is that? Well, it turns out a rainbow shiny Titanic pet is incredibly rare and also apparently incredibly expensive. These things sell for thousands of dollars, apparently. And if you're trying to get one, well, the chances are pretty much close to winning the lottery or like winning an insane amount of money off a scratch card. Basically, right, it's not going to happen. So the thing is, guys, right, these exploiters, they were pretty smart. They started finding exploits inside of the game and they pretty much told Preston how to patch them. If you guys don't know who Preston is, basically the uh, CEO of big games. Now here's the thing, after Preston's developers started giving the exploiters these rare shiny titanic pets, whatever the heck they're called, the normal fan base of the pets in games, they got really furious because they were like, hang on a second, these guys are exploiting, they're causing problems, they're ruining the game, they're getting free pets, and you're rewarding them with like shiny rainbow titanic items? Many of you guys have probably heard of the term like a white hat hacker or a black hat hacker. I would honestly say these exploiters are a mix of both because obviously some of them did actually use exploits to their own personal gain. They got tons of rare pets or whatever. And even those people were still like awarded with these limited edition pets, which is nuts. So a popular community member known by Cassie Dev spoke out about this. And the thing is guys, she got banned. So the new game is Pet Simulator 99C. I didn't even know that. I thought it was Pet Simulator X. Obviously I'm too out of date. Not gonna lie guys, I don't know much about these pet simulator games. I just sometimes make a news video about it when it's like so funny and so crazy. But yeah, Cassie here, pretty much she got fed up. She started speaking out about the game. She was speaking out about the uh, hacker exploiter controversy thing, you know, about them getting free stuff. And she got banned from the game. Now here's the issue, right? Cassie was like fairly popular in the pet sim community. I don't know if she's a YouTuber or something, but her tweets get many likes. You know, she's got a lot of like pet sim fans, I guess you could say. And she spoke out about this. I think yesterday. So she said, daily reminder that Pet Sim 99 developers rewarded four exploiters with 10 to 20k USD worth of pets age. I'm not being funny, guys. How the heck is a cube pet worth $10,000? What? <laughs> what is going on? Anyway, apparently it destroyed the economy and she got banned for tweeting about it. So there you go. Pretty much right. They're trying to silence her. They don't like the fact she's tweeting about this and saying, you know, this probably shouldn't have happened. I can kind of see both sides here, but with these exploiters right they were clearly being a bit crafty because you know they used the exploits to their advantage before reporting the exploit to get it patched so yeah definitely a bit strange to be honest i'm not gonna lie if i had a roblox game and somebody was exploiting to get tons of free stuff i'd probably just ban them right away i don't think i'd reward them now this is where it gets a bit weird right and i could kind of understand the rest of it until this point so it turns out right cassie she got banned for a day i'm not even joking so pet simulator have got some like dodgy Roblox support connections. I guess they could get anybody banned. Maybe they could even get my Roblox account banned for talking about this. I mean, I guess they could because it says here, your account has been moderated for creating alt accounts with harassing names, promoting exploit content on the platform and exploiting. Further similar activity may result in the permanent banning of your account. Now, normally if you're exploiting, like that's it, they would just terminate you straight away. But this was a one day ban. So this is a bit suspicious right? Obviously Preston or some dev contacted Roblox and they were asking them to ban Cassie, you know, to try and get her to stop talking about this. Clearly she hasn't stopped, which is quite funny and also 
fair enough. You know, she's got a right to say what she thinks about the game. But yeah, I did think that was a bit sketchy. So here was some of the proof. Apparently, this was one of the guys that got like the uh, rainbow Titanic thing. Uh, he pretty much he was using like uh, exploits to get a ton of free stuff. I don't know if this is the same person, but um, I'm guessing all of these pets right here are like super OP or super rare. And obviously they did some like duplication method, I assume, to get all of these. I just want to say I don't know. I don't know enough about Pet Simulator 99, but I do know there is exploiting in it. I mean, every Roblox game has exploiters, right? There was some support, like uh, Xtros, who said, this is totally fair. These aren't bad exploiters. They saved the community from an economic collapse in Pet Simulator 99 by fixing it for the devs. So there's like two ways you could look at this. I guess that's kind of true, except they did kind of test it out first. And then again, this didn't look like a simple exploit. So these guys clearly knew what they were doing. So yeah, definitely interesting. I can kind of understand why big games did this in a way, you know, by them gifting the exploiters. They probably thought this would put more people off, you know, trying to exploit in the future because they might go to them straight away with like the bug and, you know, show them how to fix it and stuff. But then again, you know, you're just going to cause more problems because the community is going to get really upset. They're going to be so sad that hackers are given, you know, all of these special benefits. Apparently, this is one of the pets, so like a rainbow creepy thing. Oh, I don't know. But this guy was trying to sell it for 100k USD, which is absolutely ridiculous, right? You could get a beautiful car with 100k USD. You could mortgage a house. You could get many clothes and food and whatever you want. If anybody actually buys this for 100k, like, oh my God, you need to be banned from the internet for a year and you need to be educated on how to spend your money correctly. Now, the thing is, guys, this gets a bit worse because not only did Cassie have problems by getting banned from the game after spending a lot of money and obviously she also got a one day ban on Roblox. This person here, Sizzle's Jelly Queen, she also got kicked from the big game's partner role and maybe banned from the game. I don't quite know because she spoke out about this. Now with Sizzle's the Jelly Queen, it gets really weird because I tried to find her tweet about what she said, you know, maybe she was agreeing with Cassie or whatever, but it turns out her Twitter has just been fully messed up. Just says something went wrong, try again, and I couldn't find anything. So that's weird. I've never seen this glitch before. It's not like her account is banned or anything. It's like messed up. Like, how does that even happen? There was also more drama as well. So there's kind of like a bit of beef between the pet simulator developers and then like people like Cassie that were angry at, you know, them giving exploiters free stuff. So she was talking crap about this Josh guy. Apparently Creekcroft said he was a kid in his video, but this Josh guy is like uh, 20 or something. I don't know, maybe even older. So yeah, you get the idea. Just regular Twitter beef. I'm not going to lie though. I really don't know anything about pet simulator. So I'll tell you what, guys, let me turn on my webcam. Let me do a pet simulator YouTube video reaction. I think Big Games puts pet simulator stuff on their official channel, right? Let me try and find one. Okay, so here we go. Pet Simulator X, um, first ever reaction of their gameplay or video or whatever. So I've got no idea what's going on. No way. No way. Oh my god. What the hell? That was horrible. Um, I've got no words. What on earth was that? Oh my god. Well, it's definitely um aimed at children. That's for sure. Even though Pet Sim is a bit of a weird dodgy gambling thing. Yeah, that was um that was really odd, wasn't it? So now on to the good part, the people burning their pet simulator plushies. Now, I just want to say a warning. Obviously, fire is dangerous. Um, I would not recommend doing this. You know, this could easily start a house fire. You could easily burn yourself. This is not really a good thing. However, it is interesting. It really does show how angry people are with pet simulator. So the first one here is from um, Shy. This was a video, um, but I couldn't find it. I'm guessing he deleted it or something. Luckily, he did burn it outside in the snow, so that's good. You can see his um, axolotl, his little um, axolotl big games plushie. He set it on fire. He had enough and he um, set it on fire. I don't know how much these things sell for, mind you. I know they're not cheap. I know the big ones for like 500 or 250 or whatever. These ones, oh, so I'm guessing that was about $35. It really is expensive for a like, um, you know, a little plushy toy. If you're good with your money like I am, I can buy like a week's worth of shopping for like $35. No joke, like drinks, bread, pizzas, fruit, whatever you want. 
Um, it does seem a bit silly spending $35 on something like this, but there you go. I guess the nightmare one's kind of cool. Do you really get anything out of it though? I don't think it was like my Shark Blocks plushie where you got a ton of UGC limiteds. I don't think you get any UGC limiteds of these, do you? It's just like in-game codes maybe, or did they remove that? I don't know. But yeah, at least they're not $100 each. I thought they were for a second. Is that free for $34? Oh, there you go. Okay, I guess not. it's not too bad and you do get DLC. They are a bit basic though. It's not really something I'd want on display in my room, if you know what I mean. We've got one here from Aaron Plays. He got sick of the game, so he burnt his one as well. And this one is a video. So um, he put his in the shower so he could um, <laughs> so he could extinguish the flames with water quickly. And this one is, is that a Titanic one? Because that one looks quite big. It's like got a Christmas hat as well. I think that was the Christmas exclusive. So yeah, if I just mute this a bit, as you can see, he does set it on fire and he burns this thing. So that is... Um, pretty insane oh my god look it really does glow up in flames and then he turns on the shower let's see it get extinguished and then there you go just um that's it gone yeah um this is pretty crazy god that is literally horrible isn't it that must smell so bad so yeah as i said guys um i wouldn't recommend doing this it's not exactly very safe is it but yeah as i was saying people are really getting fed up of the game and then the best till last the one that started a ton of drama which i'll get onto in a minute shout out to taz d who luckily didn't burn his shark blocks plushie but he did burn his um pet sim dog which was about 35 dollars i think or he said he got his off ebay for like cheap or something which is fair enough so um yeah i'm just gonna mute it's got some rock music on it but it looks like um it looks like he's burning it outside behind one of those like fireplace things so that's safe but yeah we've had like a ton of like house fires in london recently so i'm just trying to let you guys know you've got to be really <laughs> flipping careful with this kind of stuff you know fire can get out of control really quickly you get the idea he puts his dog in like a furnace or something and he just sets a light to it so um you know it's his property he can do what he wants it is quite funny i guess i agree with what jackery said actually it's bizarre seeing people burn their plushies in solidarity against pet sim when you're not in the pet sim circle at all yeah i agree like i don't really know what's going on to be honest but you know luckily we found out oh here we go pet sim is a predatory revenue stream a gateway for children to be introduced to gambling plus bad spending habits disguised as a colorful pet collecting game yeah i've got to be honest right so um i've got a little cousin and she's like really really into roblox you know she's always asking me for robux and stuff like that it's quite funny i literally had to tell my auntie like i had to warn my auntie about pet simulator no joke i straight up said to my auntie before for. like roblox is not really a safe game so you've kind of got to keep an eye on her while she's playing it i was kind of talking about like the condo stuff as well you know i'd hate for my cousin to be tricked into playing something like that and also like the dodgy kids gambling games it's just not healthy at all so i said you know if she ever starts asking you for robux and then it's being spent on a game like pet sim you've got to be so careful you can't be you know spending money on stuff like that so i do agree with jackery's here like i've literally gotten out of my way to tell my family members like literally warn them about this game i really don't think it's a good idea now there was some people pretty angry about people burning the plushies and um, this got a bit stupid because honestly if you own something and it's your property you've got a right to do what you want with it to be honest so numerous he said for your information if you're burning your plushie not only have you already bought the plushie meaning big games don't care you're also getting rid of the opportunity of donating the plushies to a children's organization do the right thing i can kind of understand what these people are saying but in a way it's just a bit silly like you know it's your property you can do what you want with it i remember that youtuber called plain rock 124 i haven't watched him in ages but i know he'd do like these funny like board smashing videos and he'd always get people in the comments saying oh give it to me donate it to charity do a giveaway yeah i never really like that kind of stuff you know if you own something and you want to destroy it you want to smash it set it on fire run it over throw it in a volcano it doesn't matter it's your property you can do what you want also i think these people that are complaining about the charity stuff they don't understand Understand how much gets thrown away in real life. So me and my friend used to do dumpster diving, right? This was about five, six years ago. And we went to a store called Game in the UK. And no joke, guys, right? We opened up the dumpster at the back of the shop and it was just full of Minecraft plushies. Like there was nothing wrong with them. I guess it was just dead stock that nobody bought. So these people should be complaining about that. Like I don't think these people realize how wasteful big corporations are. And keep in mind, right? That stuff's going on a landfill. I would much rather people burn it. So there you go. That's the whole pet simulator 
to 99 drama. It's pretty petty, it's pretty stupid, but in a way kind of hilarious. Apparently people are doing this new meme now where they're calling the game Boring Topic Next. I did notice that quite a bit on their YouTube channel. People were like putting that in the comment section when I was uh, reacting to the video. So yeah, pretty insane situation. I wouldn't recommend burning your plushie by the way, it does seem a bit silly. Actually, I don't even know what you should do with your plushie. You probably don't give it to a kid because if they find out what game it's from, they might get hooked on gambling. Oh god guys, what a problem. But there we have it, that's pretty much it, and um, yeah, see ya.